Hi friends. 19 years ago, this happened to me too. I'm talking about 9-11. So while I realize 9-11 is not the same as what's going on now, there are some similar things that I learned during that experience that I think will help you as well. So I was a new IP in 2001. And yes, you can do the math. That was a long time ago when I started out in IP. And when 9-11 happened, there was a lot of uncertainty similar to what's going on right now and a lot of sadness and especially among healthcare workers and what's going to happen next and the fear of the unknown and what is going to be our new normal. And many of you all live through that as well. And what I want to share with you today is I had to make a decision during that time. I had to decide, am I going to dwell on this situation and be afraid? Am I going to panic? Or am I going to use this as an opportunity to make a difference in the lives of other people? And I'm happy to say that I made the second decision. I decided I'm going to dig in during this time. I'm going to use this time to reflect on what I'm doing and make sure that this is what I really want to do with my life. And if it is, I'm going to move forward and I'm going to learn as much as I possibly can about this field and I'm going to use it to help other people. And that's what I did. I started learning more about infection prevention and taking classes and using what I learned to help other people and to really make a difference. And so that's what I wanna to propose to you today. Are you doing what you really wanna be doing? Is this what you want to do? And how can you take the next step to use what you are doing right now to help other people? So if you've been watching my other lives, you know that I created two new opportunities to help people deal with what's going on right now and how to move forward in the future. And one of those is a class that I'm really excited about, and that's a class for businesses. I want to teach people who are working in a business or who are a business owner of some ways that you can start using some infection prevention techniques that have been used in healthcare for a long time and how we can apply those to your general business. This is gonna help you create a safer environment. It's going to give you more credibility for your customers, for your employees, and I think it will give you some peace of mind. I think whenever you get knowledge about what's going on and the things that you can do to prevent infections, to make a safer environment where you are working, I think it's going to give you more peace of mind and help you to move forward with confidence. And the other class that I created was for my IPs out there or people who are doing infection prevention. And it's a class about isolation. And we know all too well right now how important it is to have the key concepts for isolation. It is critical right now. It's critical that you know the concepts and it is crucial that you're able to teach those concepts to your staff confidently that you know what you're supposed to be doing, what your resources are and how to implement those. So I wanna encourage you, if you fall into one of these groups, check out these new opportunities. You will not regret doing this. You won't. You will not regret taking an opportunity to grow and to get closer to being the person that you want to be during this time. If you've already decided this is what you want to do, you want to help other people, you want to make a difference, take a step forward. Sometimes that's, that's all you have to do, especially if you're in a point where you are feeling uncertain, you are feeling panic. Usually the next best, best Sorry if I can toss. The next best thing is just to take that next step. That's all you have to do. Don't get frozen where you are. Take the next step. And the next step could be learning something new, learning something that's going to be valuable to your business or valuable to your career. Thanks for coming on today, friends, and I'm going to see you soon. Stay safe and have a great weekend.